So the type of things I'll be gov covering with you today is we'll be starting with looking at secure accommodation in the webinar first and foremost. So I'll be talking to you about key principles, interim orders, what role the guardian plays in these proceedings, the position with the child's age. I'll take you through some of the procedure and then the position with secure criteria reviews. I'm then going to be developing further by looking at some of the developing case law in this area. We'll look at some of the difficulties surrounding age, the issue of absconding insofar as that's concerned. And then I'm going to be looking at the difficulties surrounding resources, the lack of secure accommodation units and what that in itself has led to. Now, let's then start looking at some of the case law insofar as secure is concerned. And one of the cases that I wanted to pick up on is the case of VW, VW 2016. And this really looks at the issue surrounding absconding. And this involved a case involving a 17-year-old child who was, who was subject to a secure accommodation order pursuant to uh, Section 25, and the child had been placed by the local authority under Section 20. Then there was another case, a case called In a Matter of J, and uh, this was another case whereby the local authority had brought care proceedings, child was beyond parental control, so the criteria were met. Local authorities therefore had lodged not just care, but also a doll application. And this is a very useful case because it again emphasizes the importance of unregulated placements about the need for authorization and the best practice guidance that I mentioned of 2019, where uh, the guidance does specifically emphasize that when making an application to the court for an order under the inherent jurisdiction, the applicant must uh, make the court aware of the registration status of those uh, either uh, providing or seeking to provide the care and accommodation uh, for the child. 